Welcome, welcome back to my channel, y'all. Welcome back, y'all. Like I always tell y'all, seek out the Jesus Christ. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Glory be to God. Thank you for my subscribers for returning. Thank you for the new subscribers or the new viewers. I'm going to post videos just trying to get y'all to understand who i am and what journey god is taking me through and me you know the things god is teaching me and that's what i usually do i just spread what the things god is teaching me and what is god is molding me to be and you know as we grow in this journey like being a christian being a believer is not easy it's some it's some days that we fall like doing crazy stuff but we get right back up god says in his word the righteous man falls seven times but he get back up i, I want to record and just journal everything I, you know that god's been doing even when it's sometimes i forget you know i want to show people that we're not to we're not doing this by ourselves god is with us and i would just try to show y'all that you know and just give y'all videos that we ain't perfect like I will be i'm gonna be transparent as possible because everybody i'm not gonna show y'all acting like that this walk is easy so today y'all as y'all can see the title my title is to take everything back the enemy took let me tell you oh the enemy been trying he been trying you know we in the baby we in the last days y'all you know, the enemy trying everything he can. He's trying to do his best right now to defeat. But he can't defeat the people that God has chosen. That's why we got to have the armor of God on us daily. The prayer, the breastplate. I was just writing that down, y'all. I'm not playing. And I encourage somebody to go to Ephesians um, chapter 6, verse 14. And it go it 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 it, it let us know what is the arm of God and it breaks it down like the breastplate, the helmet, everything. It let us know what the arm of God is. I noticed the enemy trying to take my joy. I'm talking about y'all. If y'all noticed my videos, I have not been posting videos like that. I was not posting videos all like I want to, and I'm noticing like it's the, I feel like. The enemy trying to get my focus and do all this stuff. And even I was on a, you know, back to back with my videos. I was just praying God that God, what do God want me to do? You know, um, just trying to spend more time with God. Even if I'm not doing my videos, but I'm noticing while I'm giving, you know, spending more time with God and not doing the videos, YouTube videos as much. The enemy been trying to fight. Like, trying to steal my joy, my peace, just everything. But I thank God because God restored it. You know, God, I'm telling y'all, and I'm going to share this. I was putting my camera, my Canon camera on a charger. And God gave me a revelation as I was putting the camera. So this is the battery charger. This is my Canon battery charger, right? And this little sign is like a charge and it says full. So it was dead, right? My battery, my camera battery was dead. And when I looked at my camera, like when you're a believer, God gives you revelations. Like you can just literally just be washing dishes. God would give you, he would give you his word. He would give you, he, he would talk to you. So I'm literally putting, getting my, um, I had my camera in my hand and I'm looking at the charge and the full sign. And immediately I thought of my strength because I just felt so drained that day. And I'm like, and God, it's like God gave me. He was like, it's showing me that the battery, that the battery that I put, because you got to put a battery in here for it to charge. And it's like, as I was putting the battery in here, I was just thinking about how God strengthened us. As we go into prayer, you asking God for strength. God gives you that strength. Putting the battery in you. He gave you the strength. Boom. Now I had to put it on the charger. So I was like, I looked at it as I was, it was charging. I'm like, what is the charger? What is that for? Like, I'm, I'm looking in the spirit, like charging. That's the word of God. He's giving me strength. And it is not that that strength is not it's not just the battery, you know, it's not just the battery, it's not just the strength God gives me, but it's his word. That strength, I'm, my strength is relying on who God, his word. So as I as it was charging, I'm looking at this in the spirit, y'all. As my spirit is charging, God is putting my spirit on charge. Like I, I need to, I need strength, Lord. I need strength. This is me in prayer. I need strength. And as it was charging, it was a red, like a low charge. It's a low charge. You have to keep the battery on for a couple hours for it to charge. So I'm like, oh my goodness. So like, I'm looking at it and I looked at it. I'm watching. I was like, the only way for me to be fully, full, fully, to be full, fully charged, 
Now, I thought about that in the spirit. The only way for it to turn from red to green is if I read the word of God. That's the full charge. Just say, that was my revelation. Only God can give us our strength. And only his word can strengthen us fully. That is my revelation. That's what I received that I was putting my, my camera on the charger, y'all. And it goes back to take everything back what the enemy took from us. The enemy is going to try to, try to take what God has given us. But he can only do that if you allow it, though. But if you're walking, if you got the whole armor of God on you, and if you're, if you're literally charged up with God's word, he can't take that away because you're charged. Your spirit is full. When our spirit is not full, but our flesh is full, that's a problem. That's why I said I was looking at this in the spirit, y'all. I'm looking at this battery charger in the spirit that only way my spirit can be charged if I got the word of God in me. And if that is resting in my soul and I'm knowing that, you know, I can't fight this thing with a carnal mind. I have to fight this in the spirit because the enemy is trying to take this stuff away spiritually. You know it has to happen spiritually for it to happen in the flesh. So it's going to start in the spirit. Then it was going to. Then it's going to. Then it's going to start in the flesh. So I was weak. My spirit man was weak. Okay. So if my spirit man is weak, boom, it's going to happen in the flesh. That's how you get tired. You're, you you don't want to read the word. You letting flesh. You you. I'm all I'm more on social media and drama stuff like never before. Why? Because my spirit is weak. My flesh is full because I'm feeding my flesh. If we feeding and feeding and feeding the flesh, our spirit is starving. That's why we gotta stay in the word of God. Don't allow the enemy to take what God has given you away. We have to remember that the enemy comes to uh, steal, kill, and destroy. So this ain't no game, y'all. This is why I get on social or this is how this is why I get on YouTube and I spread the word. Like people are like, well, Sharde, how are you what you're doing this and acting all crazy? What what I don't care what, guess what? If my flesh was full and my spirit was weak, guess what? Guess what I did when I was walking in sin because my flesh was full because I went into my word so my spirit was weak. Let me show how because there's a lot of people that like to talk like this like Christians like we God. No, we God children, but we it's like who we are God's children. So we get everything our strength from God. Let me let me help people like that. Let me help the ones who look at Christians like you're doing this. You're doing that. Let me tell you something. It is times when Christians fall. And I'm going to say that recently. I did something. I'm like, God, what is this? I don't even do stuff like this. I don't let, I, I, I usually let you have it. But guess what I recognized? I was feeding my flesh. My flesh was full because I'm, I, I, I'm avoiding God's word. I'm, I'm avoiding God's word. I'm being disobedient, feeding the flesh. In drama, doing sinful things. Like, do you know sin is sin? You don't have to be doing the common sins to be sinning, like smoking, drinking, cursing, fornicating. You don't have to be doing the common sins to be sinning. Disobedience is sin. And I was disobeying God. That right there, the enemy could try to play on that. Oh, she's disobedient. Oh, she's not. Look what she's doing. She's in the word when she's supposed to. The enemy knows. So if my flesh is full and my spirit is weak, that's how the that's how I was allowing my flesh to take to have his way. To go at, you know, go at people, come at people and do crazy stuff like I used to in the world. Because I wasn't seeking after my father. I, I wouldn't let my father have it like I usually do. But guess what? When God charged me up, my spirit, I'm charged up. I'm telling you, when God gave me, I pray for my strength back. Because I can tell my flesh was full. I said, oh, the devil is a lie. God, I pray for my strength. Pray that, pray, Father God, whatever it is, whatever it is that's trying to keep me bound, to keep me from not doing your will, remove it in Jesus' name. Y'all, my I, God gave me my strength. After I received my strength, I'm in God's word again. My spirit, man, is full. I'm being fed. I, it's full. Now my flesh is weak. Now what happens when your flesh is weak? Your spirit is full though. So you now know I recognize what the enemy is trying to do. Now I repent and I, re I, I forgot, I, I forgive me for the things I've done. Even for the people I made, I made came, came against. Forgive them, God. Bless them, oh God. I'm telling you, when your spirit is full, that's why I'm trying to help somebody. Take everything back with the enemy trying to take away from you. He's trying to take your joy, your peace, your spirit. He's trying to take it, period. That's what he's after. He's after your soul. If the enemy can have 
have your, if the enemy can have your soul, and if he can have your soul drowned and weak, that's what he wanted. He want that flesh to be fed. That's why we have to walk in the spirit, not in our carnal mind, y'all, because that's when the enemy can try to have his way. But that's what was happening these last couple of weeks and days. I'm like, Father God, I rebuke it in Jesus' name. I see what it is. And the reason why, I thank God that, I, I thank God that these attacks are so strong. Because guess what? That means there's something big. It's something big coming. And that's the enemy knows it. It's something, it don't, only, it don't even have to be a blessing. It's something, whatever God is doing, it's a blessing. It don't have to be uh, finances, a car, um, a, a new home, a house. It don't have to be that. Do you know it can be something that God, only God, God has, man, God, God has a thing that, no, God has something, God has things in store that no man knows. The things that God has in store for us, man, it's not an earthly thing. It's about the spirit. It's about what are you doing for God's kingdom? Are your treasures in this world or is your treasures in heaven? That's what it's about. That's why I had to stop idolizing the blessings God has given me. Is my treasures in this world or is my treasures in heaven? That's why I don't care when people try to come against me. Guess what? I'm going to still stand on God. I'm going to still, I'm telling, I don't care. The enemy trying to say, oh, Shada, you did that. Oh, this was done. Guess what? And God still going, God going to still stand before me. I'm going to still stand behind God because I know regardless of what, God has called me. God has anointed me for at such a time, so I don't care. I don't care what people try to say because I don't look in the carnal mind. I'm good. Whenever you come in against me, I'm going to pray for you because it's, it's a dangerous thing to come against people who truly, I don't care. That's why I'm talk about people. It's a dangerous thing to come against people who truly walk in God because people be wondering, God, what's going on? What, what, my, and then, some of them really don't even be knowing God. You don't know what's and you don't know what's going on in your life. That's because you're speaking on the wrong people. I don't care if you see these people sinning and they supposed to be Christians. I don't care if they they going off on somebody and they supposed to be Christians. Man, God, God is God. You don't know if that person went off, did something in the wrong, and went and repented, and God forgave them. And but you got they, your mouth on that person, right? That's a dangerous thing because if you don't, if you yourself don't know God and you got your mouth on a Christian, God don't play about his kids. People be wondering why they walking into crazy trauma, trauma situations, people going in their life, all type of stuff, crazy chaos in their life. Man, because you speaking on God's children. That's wicked. It's crazy. That's why you got to know the word. And it's it, it, even period. Any, even period. Even, even if you're not walking with God. Even the people that's not even, that don't even know God know it's dangerous. It, it's not good to speak on people negative. It's not. So imagine if you speaking on people who know God. Who has a relationship with God. I have a relationship with my father. That's why I tell people, if I came at the wrong, guess what? I pray they forgive me. And I don't know where I'm going with this, but I'm literally just helping somebody i pray that they forgive me but one thing i'm telling you don't ever try to point a finger back at me and say oh you you did baby i have a relationship with my father because guess what if i don't it is sometimes where i'll be like god forgive them because they don't know just like jesus said forgive them when he's on the cross because with god I have to deal when god have to step in and, and on my behalf it ain't gonna man god ref is God wrath, people be saying God is God of love. No, my God is a God of love, but he's a God of wrath too. I know better. Some things I'll be doing like, oh, I know better than this. Let me go talk to my father. I, I said that to say anybody who's, and this was off, this is off, off the subject, but any believer that's dealing with persecution, People trying to come against you. Situations coming up against you. Uncomfortable, uncomfortable, wicked, just random things. I'm telling you, persecution is going to come. You're, you are, you are a believer. This, that's why I'm telling you, and I'm saying this, y'all. I don't care if I got two viewers. Let me tell you something. Expect it. That's why people don't like me. Why? And that's another thing. And that's another thing. I expect. Reason why I say expect it, y'all. Because God, uh, in his word, it said they hating him. So he, they will hate us too. They're going to hate us too for believing in Jesus Christ. 
God is the truth. Like I said, they didn't, he came, they didn't, his own didn't receive him. So if his own didn't receive him, his own won't receive his believers. Clap when they persecute you. Praise God when they call you names. Praise God when they uh, try to deliver you up to people. Praise God when they try to call, uh, cuss you out. Praise God when they try to spit in your face for believing in God. I'm telling y'all, I'm telling you, I'll literally be expecting it. So even when these attacks come, I'm telling you, peace be unto you. Peace be unto me when these attacks come. I'm telling you, because we have to receive it. Why? Because we believe in the only begotten son. We believe that Jesus is Lord. That's everything to believe in. That's the only thing we need to believe in while we're living in this earth. So while the enemy, the enemy knows we know the truth, he's going to use whoever he can use to take that away from us. I don't care who it is. People mad to this day, I stand on God. They're like, girl, you, you just was doing this, but you supposed to be, baby, I don't care what you say. I stand behind God. So whatever you saying, let me, matter of fact, I'm going to ask God to forgive you. Because if you don't watch your mouth, God might, let me tell you something. People wonder why they facing situations, sickness in their body, all type of stuff. Because you coming up a child of God. That stuff is true. It's in the word. People, that's why people be going through so much stuff too. Because you don't believe in it. You don't believe in God. You don't believe in the word. That's why people is dying. And God said, my people perish of the lack of knowledge. So what is knowledge? Knowledge is the word of God. So if you're perishing because you lack the knowledge of God, that's because you didn't know the word. Every, everybody's going to stand in before God. I don't care, believe it or not. You're going to stand before God. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. So you're going to bow and you're going to confess that Jesus is Lord. I don't care what nobody got to say about me. They can say, oh, that girl in the cult, that girl, whatever. She believe in this. Baby, what I say, I know it's the truth. I know my God is the truth. You mean to tell me, and I'm just saying, I don't know where I'm going with this, y'all, for real. This could, this could probably help in somebody. You can't tell me my God is God ain't real. It's too much stuff. God is real. You got people even in the world right now like, hold on, Jesus Christ is coming back. I can tell. I don't know this God, but I know he's coming back. Let me get in my word. You mean to tell me every last movie, every last TV show mock Jesus Christ? Why they ain't mocking the false gods? Because they know that ain't God. It's only one God who lives. One God who lives. Like, I'm telling you, I, I'm so passionate about God because I can tell who, the, I, I know who the adversary is, how he coming. He's mad because really Satan really want to go back to heaven, but he know he can't. He know the word is the word and God don't go back on his word. He's mad that the word of God said that he's going to be cast into hell and he know that God's word is his word. So he's going to take everybody he can with him. He hate the word. He hate God's people because God's people is beautiful. We was made in God's image. So, y'all, I'm just trying here to encourage y'all. Take everything back the enemy trying to take away from you. I'm telling you, be prepared for the attacks. Be prepared for the people to talk about you. People don't like me. I'm telling you, in the world I stand. When I didn't know God, before I gave my life to God, y'all, I'm telling you, I literally used to stand by my lonely fighting anybody who wanted to fight me. I'm telling you, people didn't like me. They're like, who this? Who this? Who this girl thinking she, but I was by myself standing on me, just me. Then I didn't know God. I didn't know God then. I knew about him, but I didn't, I wasn't submitted. I wasn't submitting to God when I was in the world fighting all that. But now that I know that I was a fighter in the world, but in my carnal mind, when I wasn't saved, I was a fighter. That's who I thought I was. But really what it is in the spirit, I am a warrior for Christ. I got, I'm telling you in the spirit, I just see a whole armor of God on me. I don't, let me tell y'all something. When you come, when you, when God, when you get God, when God saves you, he, he shows you who you truly are. This is a spiritual, this is a spiritual, this is a spiritual thing. And it's sad, unfortunate, that some people do not know God. And that's the only way, why, that's the only reason why we're living, to live again with him. So when I was in the world, I went, 
after I gave my life to God, I now know I am a warrior of Christ. That's why I was standing by myself. That's why people were so, so scared of me in a world of fighting me. I'm telling you, it used to be weird why people were scared to fight me. But now I know spiritually, it's because them demons. I was looking in the flesh. I was looking in the carnal mind. I was looking at these people. I was looking at flesh. They flesh. Spiritually, it's demons behind them ready to fight me. And it was a demon in me trying to fight them. Because I didn't recognize who I was in Christ, nor did I recognize who they was. So now spiritually, I know who I am. I am a warrior. I'm a child of God. And I know that now I'm fighting against the enemy. I'm fighting against these attack these taxes he has. I know what he's trying to do. So every time he comes, I'm going to get him for it was written. I'm going to give him with the word every time. I'm going to use the sword of God every time. God's word every time. You have to know who you are in Christ in order to take everything back the enemy took from you, y'all. I'm telling you. That is why I'm just on here just trying to share everything, y'all. Because it's bigger. It's bigger than what we think. Y'all thinking these just attacks just coming, people randomly coming. Man, the enemy not playing. It's not playing. You can't. It's, we can't even afford to even go on slack stuff. And me trying to play on that. Not playing. Let me say, you know, he ain't. He not nothing. But I'm just saying, y'all, be be watchful. We have to watch and pray. God tells us to watch and pray. The enemy is um, he's seeking whom he can devour. So he's watching. Okay, he has a, he has an ongoing watch. So we need to have an ongoing ongoing watch and be wise uh, and let God guide us. You know, so. Y'all, y'all know I would talk forever. I just want to keep this. I just want to um, share this with y'all to keep your armor of God on y'all, y'all. And that's what I'm studying right now. And God be the glory. God willing, God willing, I pray that I'm able to, um, I'm, I'm able to let y'all know what God gave me, the revelation God gave me, what uh, the warrior, that's what I'm studying right now, the whole armor of God. And I pray that God give me revelation so I can tell y'all and give y'all a video. I just want to tell y'all, y'all, every y'all, we is not in this alone. God is with us. God stand before us. If God is before us, who can be against us? That's why Satan hate me. He, I'm telling you, them demons do not like me. They scared of me. I'm telling y'all already, God already let me know that. I done seen that already. God has been some these demons scared. Scared of me. Why? Because I know for it, it was written. What enemy? What you try? I got my sword on. I got my armor on. What you want? Yeah, because I know you coming. But I know you don't got no power. We have to remember that the Satan don't got no power. So take everything back the enemy trying to take. Take it back in Jesus' name. You're going to take it back in Jesus' name. You're going to do the will that God has placed over your life in Jesus' name. I don't care who you are, an unbeliever or if you are saved. I'm telling you, you're not a believer. Pray. Seek after Jesus Christ. Get in the word. Go purchase a Bible. Get in your word. Ask God to guide you in all ways. I'm telling you, ask God. Open, ask God to open up your heart to receive him. And ask God to guide you on how to seek him and stay in your word. Stay just desiring God y'all continue y'all continue just walking with God and praying allowing God to continue to pour oil on you and continue to walk in God's will y'all I'm looking at this life I don't care it's my mom my sister my pastor anybody I don't care any believer man you better look at every man like a liar but the word of God yeah not saying that there are literally liars but saying that no nah, I believe in God I believe in his word because when you believe God wants to believe like that, that's why narrow is the way and few will find it because don't narrow that narrow way. And a few people that found it, found it because they trusted only in God. Like they laid down their life for God and was obedient to God. Just like Jesus laid down his life and was obedient to God. That's why I'm, I encourage y'all. And I thank y'all for watching this video. I pray y'all got something out of this. And God willing, I'm going to continue to make videos. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm thinking about doing something like a little different. God willing, I don't know. Um, like I said, I'll be trying to get, like, allow God to leave me with my anything, my YouTube. Because I said, I'm telling y'all, God, let me open this up to for his people. So I ain't even trying to do nothing. You never supposed to go behind, before God, y'all. Don't do that. Um, just, just allow God to be God of your life. I don't care what it is, YouTube. I don't care what it is, y'all. Anything, your, your job, anything, allow God to be God and guide you in all ways, y'all. I'm telling you, God has everything prepared for you. You have to believe it and re receive that he does. Oh, chains are breakable when we
Never see.